I am Anil Kumar and in my series of Finding Probability in the Game of Cards, we are discussing the game of Flash. The Indian poker was just played with three cards. Now here is a very common combination. We get a formation which is uh, not those significant ones, right? So let me list those which are very important. Like we have a pair, we could have a sequence, we could have a trail, trail is the ultimate, and uh, in between we could have also a color, right? Same kind, right? We could have all these combinations. We could also have color and sequence. Right, so the order is not correct here, but these are different type of cards which we normally sort for in this game of Flash. But most of the time, we land up with some combination which is neither a pair, neither a sequence, or a trail, or a color, right? So that kind of combination comes in our hand most of the time. Let us try to figure out what is the probability of getting such a card when three cards are being distributed. So we're trying to find probability of three cards which are neither of above. Is it okay? That means that combination is not of a pair, not of a sequence, not of a trail, not of a color, or color sequence. So that's what we'll figure out in this particular video, okay? Now let's begin with total number of options, now which is the sample space for us. Since we are distributing three cards, it's a game of three cards, and the deck has 52, total number of options are 52C3, correct? Now all of these, some will not have such a good luck, right? So how many of these? Let's call this as event A. So probability will be ratio of these two. Let's find the favorable outcomes first, where the card is not a pair, not a sequence, not a trail, not a color or a color sequence. Well, in that case, what we have is that we are selecting uh, any out of 13, right? We are selecting any out of 13. So, so what we have here is the value of the card is from 2 to A's, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, King, Queen. Let me write down. So these are, we have A's, King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, right? So these are 13 cards which are with us and we are actually selecting three of these. So let's select any of these, right? So we have 13, C3, right? So we have selected any one of these three. Now out of these three, what we will have is, they could be in a sequence. For example, Ace, King, Queen, right? Ace, Queen, Queen. How many options are there which can form a sequence? You'll find that the sequence should start from a number not including two. 3 to A's will also give us a sequence, right? So A's can be arranged anywhere. So all of these will take away those 12 combinations, which can form a sequence, right? So, so we have taken care of this part. So these cards selected will not form a sequence since uh, we have taken away those 12 options, which will form a sequence, right? So that is one thing which we've taken care of. The other thing is, now we'll select the colors, right? So we have select the value of the card. Value of the card is such that we don't have them in order, right? So 12 of those have been taken away. Now, second step is to select the suit. So we have four different suits. So it could be one of those four, right? So when we say four different suits, that means uh, it could be spades, right? It could be spades, that is the spades or clubs, these are two black ones. And then we have two red ones, which are hearts and diamonds, right? So let me just make them also. So it is hearts. And diamonds. 
So for each value, we have four options, correct? So we get four cube, three places, correct? Out of these, there will be four of same kind. So we'll take away those four. Do you see that? Then their product is going to give us all the outcomes which will not include a sequence, a pair, or a color. And therefore, all these options are excluded. Do you get an idea? I'd like you to go through this once again, right? So what we are doing here is we are first selecting a value. And amongst the values, we have taken away those which could form a sequence, a straight, by taking away those 12 numbers. And then we selected the color. And amongst those colors, we have taken away the option that all are of the same color. Those are four in number, right? So, so that also we have removed. So therefore, now we have all the possible outcomes which are not pair, not sequence, not trail, not color, and so not color sequence. Now the probability of this event will be the ratio of favorable to total number of outcomes. And that is 13C3 minus 12 times 4 cube minus 4 divided by 52C3, right? So we can calculate this value using calculator, right? So we have 13C3 minus 12. And then we'll multiply this by, within brackets, 4 cube take away 4 equals 2, which is 164420, divided by 52 C3. So first we write 52 C3, 2200. And now we'll divide 16440, divided by 22100, to get the probability. In decimals, it is uh, 0 0.74, we can say 3.9, okay? So it is 74% chances of getting a combination which is none of these, right? So in our case, uh, the answer will be probability of getting such cards is very high. It is approximately, we can say 74.4%. Do you see that? That is important to understand in the game of Indian poker or flash that not getting one of these is very high probability. So if you get one of these, chances of winning are pretty high. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps to understand this game of cards and the probability involved. Thank you and all the best.